dances and chants to welcome the ancestral spirits. Now it's time to find out if everything's been properly done. And there's only one way to find out. Young boys making their first dive jump from the lowest platforms. But even these are more than two stories high. Then the men go from higher and higher platforms until the most experienced jumper takes the day's final leap from the tower's top as high as 100 feet. But height isn't land diving's scariest part. In this ritual, it isn't enough just to jump with nothing but a pair of Tarzan vines keeping you from crashing into the earth. Your head has to hit the ground. As you launch yourself into the air, you hope that whoever cut your vines, cut them just right, so your head will barely touch the ground before they yank you up. If they're too short, you'll dangle in the air, and the yams won't benefit. If they're too long, the yams will be blessed, but you will die. Vines only four inches too long can cost you your life. No wonder that just before he jumps, a man can say anything he wants, and no one can hold it against him. They might be his last words. There was a, a chap who jumped from about 55 feet. Both vines break smack. The women started wailing and stuff. And then he gets up. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> 